muscle tenseness by the patient can prevent, or at least strongly restrict, a successful continuing treatment. The display of the action potential of the muscular system provides a valuable aid here. EMG Electromyography Patient relaxation centric ascertainment with EMG We prepare the locations for the electrodes by cleaning the skin and removing dead surface skin cell in the areas of the active as well as the neutral electrode. The electrodes are adhered to the muscle structure so that the gel has good contact with the skin. The neutral electrode is attached behind the ear. We have to do the same on the other side for the second pair of electrodes. We start the EMG measuring. The patient opens her mouth and has two cotton wool rolls placed between her teeth. Please bite down. The measurement is started and the patient bites with maximum power. Harder, harder, harder. I restart the measurement. The patient bites firmly once again then relaxes. Immediately complete relaxation sets in. It goes down to a very low level. Now bite down hard once again and relax. Bite down hard once more and relax. A very low activation potential is also immediately achieved. Immediately, complete relaxation sets in. It goes down to a very low level. Now we will make a recording of the Gothic arch with simultaneous control of the muscle activity. First we position the bite fork. Open please. Bite fork put into position. Sensory bow placed on the bite fork. Open please. Bite fork adjusted. Open a little wider please. Measurement carried out. Transferred to the para-occlusal spoon. Open please. Take the cotton wool rolls between your teeth and bite down once hard, as hard as you can. Harder, harder, harder. Good. Now open wider. The cotton wool rolls are removed. Leave your mouth open. The registration aids are inserted. First the lower jaw. Then the upper. Now push forward and back. Now to the left and back. Right back, back, back. Now to the right and back. Once more forward and back. Now we have to adjust to the centric position. A little bit forward and then back. That is our target position for the centric registration and we can now start to produce it. The registration material is applied to the dentition. The 
patient closes once more. Measuring is restarted and she tries to maintain the lowest possible action potential, which means to relax as best as possible. Also, she has retrieved her centric position very quickly. Now we wait until the registration material is ready. Under ongoing control of the muscular activity and position, the material hardens. We have to wait for a few minutes. As a rule, a high action potential or extremely variable values on both sides are the indicators for an unstable condition of the lower jaw. The display of the action potential of the muscular system during the determination of the centric lower jaw position results in a maximum of information available. 